very lovely Monday morning to all participants standing gallantly with Tubat Global Foundation. This is the time for us to convert every negative energy to fear for flights. It's no longer news that Tiobat Global Foundation has stayed ahead of the curve since its inception despite the ravaging of her enemies. From the day of the disbursement flag off that was disrupted by some unscrupulous elements till date, Nigerians are fed on a daily basis with rumors, false allegations, betrayal, disloyalty against the person of Apostle Professor Theophilus Oloshi Eboni and Dr. Ambassador Peters George Hope, courtesy of our enemies. Let's not forget that when you destroy someone's life with lies because of foolish jealousy and hatred, just take it as a loan because it will come back to you with compound interest. For those manipulating the gullible amongst us with baseless assumptions, unverified updates, please I urge you to continue, don't stop. You will eat your words when the time comes. It's so funny and baffling how the people who knows the least about Dr. Ambassador Peters, George Hope, has the most to say about him. Please allow him breathe. Don't suffocate him with lies from God nowhere. It might interest you to know that those miscreants planned arresting Dr. Ambassador Newman alongside with Apostle Theophilus, but it didn't work for them. Since the arrest of Professor Theophilus, our national ambassador goes to EFCC every day to see to the release of our country director. On one or two occasions at EFCC, he bumped into the members of AGPGN. In his humility, he proved himself as a child of God. He greeted them and walked away. Dr. Ambassador Newman has not rested. He has been up and doing in ensuring the safety of Apostle Professor Theophilus Oloshe Eboyin to the extent that the staffs of EFCC are familiar with our ambassador already. So, who is the person that is asking where is Newman? In fact, God allowed this thing to happen so we can know those who are really for us. And to my surprise, the feedbacks we have gotten are terrible and disheartening considering the personalities involved, it's a pity. No one can really be trusted, all of you making noise today, you will use that same math you use in criticizing Professor Theophilus and Dr. Ambassador Newman to praise them later. If at this time you are not familiar with the antecedent of Dr. Pode Davids in Grant's community, then you have to do your research. Dr. Pode Davids, as we all know, doesn't have a bearing. He is a typical example of a two-edged sword. He can come out openly to deny Apostle Theophilus and apologize to him privately. So whatever stunt he is putting up this time cannot hold water. I urge all faithful participants of Tilbert Grants not to go down for the camps, because the other camp has lost their marbles. It's obvious they are on thin eyes already, and very soon they will be trapped in their own web. Remember, fortune favors the brave. The light at the end of this tunnel will blind our enemies forever. Okay, uh, this is from Newman. Okay, 
uh, please uh, drop your reaction on the comment section and your voice will and clear around the world and ensure you subscribe to our channel uh, for more updates uh, from Daily Express. This is all we can take for now. Thanks and God bless. And ensure you subscribe to our channel. Uh, share this report across all news platforms and bye for now. Do join us in the other news. Thanks so much for listening and uh, bye for now, please. Okay.